From LA Late News Headquarters in Santa Monica, this is Mornings LA Late. It's a big morning here here on Mornings LA Late as a longtime viewer, Spelly, who had already gotten check A, check C, and also the brand new tablet, got more money for check C this week. And the latest breaking news overnight is thousands of dollars more in his hand. I'll have the latest details on where this brand new massive stimulus for Black Friday for Thanksgiving for millions of Americans are available for you as well. I'll show you how to get this big sum of money. I want to look back at that success story earlier this week from Kimberly Romano, who's sitting on $50,000 of checks we've got this week from this channel from the federal government. It's massive stimulus, Black Friday, Thanksgiving, and holiday stimulus checks. Boss, we'll have the latest details on what's going on with this economy. Breaking news minutes ago as Best Buy reports corporate earnings. Did they beat? Did they miss? Yesterday on this broadcast, we asked about a series of questions about companies that were reporting earnings like Dick's Sporting Goods and Best Buy. And today we have the answers. Did these retailers that have had a very bad year, that are downward guided, did they finally beat or miss? And did they uphold year end guidance? They, they revised downward. I'll have the latest details across the board. Plus, Loretta Mester, one of the most famous and most beloved federal governors, spoke minutes ago. I'll have her comments about the economy and what we should know going into a new week. Then, cryptocurrency falling apart. Hackers now stealing whatever is left of very few assets at FTX. And Bitcoin falling to the lowest levels of two and a half years. The latest details of what's going on. But over this big broadcast, we're going to go over the nearly 300,000 all checks, 300 different checks that viewers of this channel are cleaning up on. It's stimulus checks passed in March for the federal government, and I'm going to show you how to learn and earn. Stay over this one-hour broadcast as we go over all this incredible sums of money available for you as available by other viewers. They are sitting on massive amounts of checks this week. It's a big broadcast from the shores of San Monica, California. A lot going on and a lot being revealed in the last few minutes. I'll have all that and more as the toast is toasting, the butter is buttering, the cough is brewing as Mornings L8 gets underway in this countdown for Thanksgiving 2022. And good morning, everybody. I hope you're having a beautiful day as we count the hours down to Thanksgiving, but we're also counting the hours down to more stimulus checks in our hands. And that's what happened to Spelly. He is a longtime viewer of this channel, and in the last few hours, he just sent me a message. He says, I got another year of check C that's over $1,000. Spelly has already gotten check C's of big sums of money. He's also gotten check A, which is $6,500 to $12,000. And he's also gotten a brand new tablet. But he understands the approach of the Purple Power family. It's keep on pouncing and getting more money. And we'll go over his success story in just a second. Kimberly Romano heated up yesterday's broadcast. She's sitting on $50,000 of cash this holiday week. Because she became a member, she listened to the recordings, and she learned to earn. She got massive amount of money. And what did Kimberly Romano get? Let's do the numbers right now. She got 18 months of checks. 18 months of checks at about $2,000 a month because she's getting her HOA fees of three sixty dollars a month. Plus all her utilities, that's 18 times 5 checks a month. That is nearly 80 checks. That is nearly $36,000. And also she got $4,000 of past due property taxes. That's $40,000. Plus she also got her weatherizing grant, which is up to $12,000. That's $50,000 there alone. I'm going to show you how to get these incredible sums of money. FSCs passed by March. Viewers have been getting them. $300,000 of checks, 300 different checks. They're coming up over this one-hour broadcast. Put down the coffee, take notes, pay attention, and listen and earn and learn. And we're have a lot of fun over this one-hour broadcast. But let's jump right into the breaking news minutes ago. 
A series of major retailers reported corporate earnings in these final hours before Black Friday. And these were the companies we had talked about yesterday. I had asked you, do you think they're going to beat better than expected or miss coming lower than expected? We went over one after one company at a time, and now we have the answers. Do we get it right or do we get it wrong? Let's show over those breaking details right now. This is third quarter corporate earnings, number one, Best Buy. Best Buy, I had asked you yesterday, is it going to beat or is it going to miss? And right in the live chat, if you're just watching today's show, right in the live chat, Best Buy, comma, beat, comma, miss, comma, your state. I had said maybe it's going to miss because people do not have a lot of discretionary spending. They don't have a lot of debt levels available to keep on putting things on the credit card. Maybe it's going to miss. I was wrong. Best Buy is up 7% of pre-market trading today as a beat on top and beat on bottom. The discounter brought in consumers by discounting prices even more. And even better news, they raised full year end forecasts. I'll have more about Best Buy and what happened in just a second. Next question, Dick's Sporting Goods. This is baseballs and bats and gloves and some apparel. I said potentially miss because people are not engaging that much outdoors as they were the prior year. Well, I was wrong as well for that. Better than expected, it beat on top and bottom. Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree is fascinating because I thought, well, a Ross department store beat dramatically two days ago. And so let's look at that comparable, maybe a Dollar Tree, similar type of consumer, maybe it beat as well. It did. It beat top and bottom. Stock is up. Stock is down, though, 4.4% in pre-market trading. And then Abercrombie and Finch, not asked about yesterday, but brand new today. Do you think Abercrombie and Finch beat or miss? Jump to the live chat. A and F comma beat or miss. We knew that Gap beat this week, Macy's beat, and Walmart beat. So do we think A and F? I think it would, and I and I'm and it's actually correct. Abercrombie and Finch really beat on top and bottom. The stock is up 12.8 in pre-market trading. Urban Outfitters is like an A and F. Do you think that beat? It did uh, on one of the items revenue, but missed on the others. Now, total different story is Zoom and Dell computers. Now, here we go. We go into computing. Zoom, do you think it missed? Or do you think, and Dell, do you think it missed? Well, Dell missed, stock is down 2%. And Zoom missed, stock is down 10%. Wow. Confusing economy, it is. And that's why you need to get as much stimulus as you can. It's a very few confused economy, and we're going to jump more in these numbers in a second and explain why they're even more confusing than they reveal. And that's why I need to get all the stimulus. What is this stimulus? Congress and the President of the United States, back in the month of March, passed the first categories of checks. We're going to go over three categories of checks in today's recording. The first one are federal stimulus checks, FSCs. You need to learn to earn to get these big sums of money. This is not a tracking the check channel. This is an educational channel in which I teach you how to get these big sums of money. And FSCs, federal stimulus checks, are $300,000 of checks, 300 different checks. Viewers of this channel walking away with 50000 100000 150000 200000 from these FSC checks. I'll show you how I get them in just a second. Then next up, inflation release stimulus checks. And then we have lifetime stimulus. Because once your benefits go up, they never go down. One other thing that's important to understand when you're looking at these numbers for these corporate earnings that are coming in this week is the background on them. As Josh Brown, a great analyst who I absolutely adore, he always wants you to refocus on where we got to these numbers. When you hear a Best Buy beat, what has been the year for Best Buy? The stock, Best Buy, is down 30% this year alone, folks. Why? Because it downward guided earlier this year. And then it's beating on a downward guided number. Oh, yeah, it's a little bit different. And now they're reiterating either forecasts or raising those forecasts across the board. Um, they had cut their forecasts early this summer, but now they're raising full year and forecasts, saying that sales year to date will still be down 10%. Okay, so they think it's still going to be weaker than last year, but not as weak as earlier they thought this year. Let's look at some of the numbers to get some understanding of what's going on in this economy. Net sales are down 11% compared to um, one year ago. Net income is down a lot, a quarter billion dollars. There's a decrease in computing and, and home theater. 
There's more money coming in for appliances, but wait till you see this question. Excuse me, this comment. Comes from its CEO, Mr. Barry. Barry says, across consumers at Best Buy, we also see that savings are being drawn down and credit usage is going up. And value clearly matters to everyone. So there you go. That was the quote we were really looking for. Where are people getting the money for this? They are raising credit card level debts through the roof. They are wearing down their savings and they may not have a lot of savings going up. Comparable sales are down 10% uh, year to date and this could continue across the board. Wow. Lorena Master, who is a beloved Federal Reserve Governor, she spoke minutes ago, all of her comments across the board. But what we see so far in the latest details this year, and certainly this week, is that these companies anticipate problems, they downward guided, now they're slightly beating on downward guided numbers, but the stocks are still down 30%. Let's use Zoom, for example. Zoom was a $300 to $400 stock early this year. It's $40 today. And it's missing on top and bottom. Best Buy is beating, but the stock is down 30%. Um, and it is, uh, it, it is 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 getting a nice little pop at the moment. These incredible stimulus checks are huge. And what's important to understand is that you need to get them in view of what's going on. Americans are really raising credit card levels of debt. And eventually, this is not going to pair out well. But ultimately, you've been hired. <laughs> You've been hired. Yes. Where? Here. Figuratively. Black Friday sales are underway at the malls. And what I want you to do is, if you're at the malls, keep your eyes and ears open. And then send me a private message which mall you were at and tell me, what did you see? Busy or empty? Store bringing people in, another store not bringing it in. Did you see apparel doing well? Did you see uh, home appliances doing poor. I want to see your insight on what's happening because ultimately this is where the uncertainty rests. These retailers, whether it's Target, whether it is Best Buy, they all say the same thing. There is uncertainty about the consumer demand based upon their available cash reserves this holiday season. And we already know from American Express and Bank of America months ago that the credit card level debts are through the roof largest debt levels ever, people putting things on credit cards. So will they do that this holiday season? 60% of Americans are living paycheck to paycheck, and that's not what we do on this channel. We get stimulus. Let's jump into the first three categories of checks, the first categories of checks, which are federal stimulus checks, FSCs. These are from the federal government, from Congress, from the White House. They have nothing to do with your state. Your state is not involved with them whatsoever. Your state doesn't pay for them. Your state doesn't put them in the envelope. They are from the federal government. And these are the checks that are paying people massive sums of money. As Kimberly Romano showed you, she got massive amount of money, over 40000 just from FSCs. And then Spelly got check A and check C and went back and got another check C in the last 24 hours of another year of about $1,000. These incredible FSCs are available and let's look at them right now. First, let's understand what they are and how do they come to be. They started in the month of March, these FSC checks, and viewers have gotten them ever since. You're not late to the ball game. You just found this channel in the nick of time. These first three checks were passed by the President of the United States by executive action in the month of March. They are check A, B, and C, which I'm going to go over with you in this recording one at a time. $100,000. Single individual who makes $75,000 or less, go get it. If you make $150,000 or less as an annual income as a couple, go get it as well. If you're on benefits, SSI, SSDI, Social Security, railroad benefits, or veterans benefits, go get it as well. Children or not children, don't worry, get those checks as well. Then came Congress. Congress passed more checks, E through K, bringing us then hundreds of these federal stimulus checks, FSCs. And I'm going to show you each of these checks one at a time throughout this broadcast. Stay the big end of this broadcast because I have a lot of checks to go over with you. They're all in the LA newsletter. Become a member. Go right on this video and join the channel. Again, get that newsletter delivered for me Monday through Friday, 7 o'clock Pacific Standard Time, 10 o'clock Eastern. Go right in that membership newsletter and apply for those incredible checks because you deserve it. And the Purple Power has been cleaning up. Become a member and walk away with tens of thousands of dollars across the board right today. 
What's important to understand is that this is a very confusing economy. And ultimately, when we look at these companies reporting corporate earnings and beating, yet they're down for the year, it is hideously, hideously confusing. But I love what Loretta Mester said at the Federal Reserve. She's a Cleveland Federal Reserve president, my favorite, I think, of all the Federal Reserve presidents. And she said exactly what I wanted to say. She went back to script. The Federal Reserve, since early this year, has said the following statement. They're going to raise interest rates until they get inflation to 2% for a while. And they're not going to stop until they do that. And finally, after a week of the foonery coming from other Fed governors, Loretta Mester repeated this script very clearly, and I love it. We have to do more work because we need to see inflation closer to a more sustainable downward path of 2%, meaning several months of 2%. We're still going to raise our Fed fund rates, but we're at a reasonable point now where we could be deliberate in setting monetary policy. Translation, the next Federal Reserve meeting in early December will likely be 50 basis point, not 75 basis point. Next week on this channel, I will have Kansas City Federal President Esther George on Tuesday and also St. Louis's President James Boulard again. He's a great guy. He's always on point talking across the board. Here's what's important for you to know is that a lot of these companies, whether it's Best Buy or Target, say it's going to be a very, very uncertain Black Friday. They have no idea what's going to happen. They don't know if the demand is going to be there, if the demand is not going to be there. They don't know if the credit card levels are high enough for these consumers to be back in the stores. Here's what we do know. Credit card companies have told us that the credit card levels debts are the highest of a generation, number one. Number two. New series of reports of personal spending says that 60% of Americans report they're going paycheck to paycheck. Ouch. And number three, we still see these companies reporting big discretionary spends. So people have no problem spending the money, even if they don't have the money. But ultimately, this is going to come back not so good. In January, February, all these people who are spending money that they don't have the cash for and putting things on a credit card are going to be here asking for stimulus. You don't wait. You go out on this video, become a member, Purple Hawk, Purple Powercast, you know, VIP, and you get some checks. And let's get some checks starting right now with the first three checks of A, B, and C. Those first three checks are the ones passed by Joe Biden by executive action in the month of March. Spelling out check A, so did Kimberly Romano, and here it is. $6,500 to $12,000, a four stimulus check in every U.S. state. How do you get it? You go on to this video, become a member, join this channel, then go down the membership newsletter, click the link, and go right and apply. You're not done there yet. You're going to go then get check B. This is the one that Kimberly Romano got. This was the 18 months of checks, five checks a month, and it's a lot of money. On Afternoons LA today, you're going to meet two other people who have done the same thing, and they're sitting on close, one of them is sitting on close to $100,000. $15,000, $80,000, a forced stimulus check in every U.S. state. How do you get it? You go out of this video, join the channel, become a member, and go right down the newsletter to see Check B. The average payout on Check B right now for this channel is fifth, is 18 months. 18 months of about five checks a month, your rent or your mortgage, and then all your utilities. And folks, that is not a few dollars a month. That is thousands of dollars a month. And this is absolutely incredible. In 2021, we had heard about Congress and our advocacy to Congress to pass a monthly stimulus check, an MSC. Well, it's happened, but actually bigger than ever before. At the time, they were talking about six months of checks. Now, my membership is getting 18 months of checks. At the time, they were talking about $7,500, $7,200 of checks with the first month at $1,200 and then $1,000 thereafter for six months total. Well, my viewers are not getting $7,200 of checks. They're getting $70,000 of checks. They're not getting $1,000 a month. They're getting thousands of dollars a month. And this is incredible great news. And I'm going to show you how to do it over this broadcast. And what are you watching? You're watching LA Late, number one in financial news for this subject matter in American broadcasting right now. I'm here to teach you how to do this. That's what I've been doing since day one when this channel launched in 2020. View of this channel have gotten $50 million. LA Late is number three overall in all financial news with long, short, taped, and live programming on now three channels. On LA Late 1, we have our LA Late Live and then our hit shows afternoons at 3 and evenings LA Late at 5. 
Then on channel two, we have Stimulus Live airing 24 7. And then on LA3, we have the brand new Wall Street Live that airs every morning at 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. And then cooking shows, which will actually potentially launch tonight or tomorrow. Very, very exciting. Meantime, on LA1, we rolled out a brand new show less than two days ago, three days ago, called LA Late Night. It's a question and answer show that's at 8 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. I like it. You love it. Because we learn a little bit about ourselves and about your questions that you have. And I learn about what you're wondering in those questions as well. We'll be checking back on those questions from last night's show in this broadcast coming up in a second. And welcome to the brand new 100 new members who have joined this channel in the last 24 to 48 hours. Go under this video, join this channel, go right on this video and become a member and stay with me as we continue with those checks now jumping into check C. Check C is for rent, utilities, mortgage, assistance, and more. And this is the check that Spelly got overnight. He had already gotten check C before, but he got more of it. Overnight, Spelly got another year of check C for one of them. $1,000 he got, and that's on top of the existing sums of money. What is check C, and how does it work, and what does it mean? Check C is for rent, utilities, mortgage, assistance, and more. And in the membership newsletter, you go down there, it tells you who to call, what to say, and how to say it. So simple. When you go down in the membership newsletter, it teaches you about where to get this incredible check C's that viewers have been getting massive sums of money on this channel for two years. Let's look at some of their success stories for check C's as members. Do you want $30,000 of rent? Then go get some check C, become a member right today. And congratulations to those two viewers who got 14 months of rent just days ago. How about utilities? Well, Lynn Glenn, she got 14 months of utilities. She also got five months of rent. And what about these people? Here we go. Do you want these numbers for utilities? I bet you do. Utility bills are up 20% month to month, says the latest inflationary report, and up 61% year to date. You need some utilities from Check C. Become a member. Here's Mark, $6,500. His brother in law got $15,000 from his channel. A quarter million dollars over 10 years for Snap, he got as well. And Mark himself went from $32,000 on combinations of checks to $50,000, to then $100,000, and then he got check B, $66,000, bringing him to a grand total of $166,000. Lorraine was at one hundred five, dollars and she went to one fifty-five. dollars Why would you not become a member? It's just a few dollars, and then people are walking away with tens of thousands of dollars from this channel. Go right on this video, join the channel, become a member, and then go into the video and hit that bell so all notifications set to all on. Also, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any video on LA1, LA2, or LA3. You can become a member of any three of the channels and get that newsletter delivered from me to you Monday through Friday, 7 o'clock Pacific Standard Time, 10 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. In the big second half, we're going to continue with these FSC checks and jump into the lifetime stimulus and also jump into the latest details on those ISCs. But what are we looking at in the latest details coming out today? The latest details we're coming out today is a big problem over in cryptocurrency. It's not a small industry, but it's absolutely collapsing right now. Earlier this, earlier this fall, I told you that Bitcoin was going to fall to $12,000. I said that when Bitcoin was $20,000. And I told you that Ethereum was going to fall to eight hundred dollars when it was $1,500. Right today, Bitcoin has fallen to the lowest level in two and a half years. It fell as low as 15,000 earlier today. There you go, got it right again. Why is this? The complete collapse of the industry, and it's going to get worse. In the big second half, I'm gonna tell you why consumer confidence in crypto may be gone for good because of the horrible news that's coming in left and right, and it's not over yet. Word of mouth is what built cryptocurrency, and word of disgust is what's going to ruin cryptocurrency. All the latest details on that in the big second half. Plus, we'll be looking at what is going on with the latest details on these fascinating corporate earnings. Are companies doing well? Or are they not doing well? Are they doing better on downward guided numbers? And is there job security for those jobs that you have? Or is there job instability based upon a very uncertain Black Friday sale week. Oh boy, it's getting very exciting. We'll have a lot of this coming up in the big second half. But first, get ready for all that and more. I'll see you back in 60 seconds. This is Toast is Toastin'. The butter is buttering on mornings. See you back shortly.
If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not mm. five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook <coughs> and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. <coughs> Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. Home LA Late returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LA Late at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LA Late. And the excitement continues right now on a big, bold, beautiful mornings, L.A., as we count down the hours and days to Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Hope you're having a beautiful day. In today's broadcast, we continue with these massive stimulus items, the collapse of crypto, and the confusing data coming in with the retail numbers. Plus, what has Bob Iger done in just 24 hours over at Disney? Those details and more as we continue right this morning. How are you doing? Happy Thanksgiving, and thank you for joining me on this live show. More stimulus checks were passed by Congress shortly after Joe Biden, and those are incredible. Those are checks E through K, and those bring us to hundreds of checks. Let's look at them right now. Check E is a wonderful $7,500 stimulus check. Check F, a $4,000 stimulus check. Then we go to the great, wonderful check G, which is 30% off. Wow. Check H, a $2,000 stimulus check. Check I, a beautiful $8,000 stimulus check. Check J, $8,000. And check K, $14,000. In Incredible. There we go. But we're not done there yet. We got more checks thereafter. Checks L, a wonderful $100,000 on average of loan is free money. Check M, $4,000 of grant money. Stimulus N, brand new tablet, computer, laptop. Do you want it? You know you do. John Maloof got it. Spelly got it. And then Lynn Glenn got it. You should as well. It's at Stimulus N in the membership newsletter. You go right down and get that incredible brand new tablet. Stimulus O, zero down payment, zero closing costs, no credit check required for a brand new mortgage. And then Stimulus P, 3% down and 8% of free closing costs grant money. Incredible. There you go. Those are your FSC checks. What is the totality and what are the other news details we need to know about them? First, these federal stimulus checks are from the federal government. So it has nothing to do with your states. Do not ask, what about my state? It has nothing to do with your states, number one. Number two, the checks are incredible. Largest check, $100,000. Smallest check, $8,000. Fastest routing time, two days. Johnny started on Monday. By Wednesday, had $45,000. By Friday, $80,000. He applied with 15 places. He got half rejected, half approved. The next week, he got mom, 50000 dad, 50000 and his friends and neighbors, a quarter million dollars. That's about 20 people. What are the checks for? For rent, utilities, mortgage, assistance, and more. Then also for the computer, the tablet, the laptop, the internet, the home appliance, the home repairs, the car. It's absolutely incredible. Go get some federal stimulus checks right now. Go around this video and join the channel. The next categories of checks are inflation release stimulus checks. Icing on the cake, not the cake, but the icing. About $1,000 from your state, most states. You go in the membership newsletter to check D. It tells you the state and how that state is sending out the check for you. And finally, a lifetime stimulus. Because once your benefits go up, they never go down. No one's explained this to anyone except here. And it's fundamentally a critical part of your benefits check. This is you if you're on SSI, SSDI, Social Security, Railroad Benefits, and Veterans Benefits. Number one, you're going to have 
four raises, and no one's explaining this to you, and no one's explaining their cumulative, not replacements. First, imagine yourself two years ago. You're on the first floor as a sky rise. Then, this year, your benefits raised you 5.9% up, went to the second floor. Next year, you're going to go to the third floor, 8.7% raise. Yes, they're cumulative, not replacement raises. But Jay Powell says you're going to have two more raises thereafter. Well, Jay Powell says there's going to be two more years of inflation thereafter. That means two more years of inflation of raises. You're going to go to the third and then the fourth floor and finally the fifth floor. Yes, you'll reach the fifth floor, the highest of a check of a benefit your generation, the highest check of benefits your generation. Once your benefits check goes up, it never goes down. And so at year four, you will be at the fifth floor. Incredible. Now, Something else that no one's teaching you is that the cost of living will be the cheapest of a generation by that fourth year. So all those milk and eggs will be the cheapest it's ever been when your check is going to be the largest it's ever been. And with that, let's go back into the breaking news on what we're looking at right now. So this is a very confusing economy. And that confusing economy has a lot of data coming out in the next two, three days. And we're going to look at it starting right now. Personal Consumption Expenditure Index, PCE, which is an inflationary number, is released December 1. What number do we have before that? You. <laughs> you are my eyes and ears. You are my reporter on the floor and on the, on the street. Tell me what you see in the malls this holiday season. Send me a private message on Facebook. And all this weekend long, tell me what you see. Which malls were busy? Which stores were empty? Why were they busy? What were they buying? Because ultimately, you're good guidance on what's going on. It's been a very confusing week in which we've learned the totality from these retailers. Number one, discretionary spending is still there. We're not quite clear how people are coming up with the cash, but we believe it's completely from debt. Number two, they're buying things that are discretionary and not necessarily needed items. Fascinating. Number four, they're levitating real and, and, and surging really for discounted items. And number five, the numbers are better than expected, but not as good as last year. So these numbers are not as good as last year, but they're not as bad as expected. That's why it's higher across the board. Ultimately, this could potentially cause massive problems in January and February in two different regards. Number one, layoffs. And number two, massive credit card defaults. People are putting levels of debt on those credit cards left and right all across the board, confirms corporate America and credit card companies and consumer watch groups. Credit card level debt's the worst of a generation. People live in 60%, 60% of them living paycheck to paycheck, and Americans do not have the cash ready to pay for the items. Moreover, it's lots of different items. It's no longer just travel and leisure. So what happens in February? They don't have any more cash coming in February, so they may go into default based upon these levels. They'll be here asking for stimulus. Number two, the retailers really don't know what's going to happen this holiday season. No one thinks it's going to be better than last year, but they're hoping it's not as bad, as, as worse, as expected. That means the uncertainty could cause some big problems with corporate America. If they do not deliver this holiday season on a downward guided already situation, don't be surprised if you hear layoffs. Don't be surprised if you hear store closures come in January, February. And that's ultimately a big problem across the board. And ultimately, if people do not realize that there's a lack of job security, mm, they realize do not realize that their jobs could be gone, ooh, and do not realize that those credit card level debts that they're do incurring are not sustainable, ouch, that could cause a big rude awakening early next year. The rude awakening is happening right now in a similar regard, over in cryptocurrency. What's happening in cryptocurrency right now? Two things. One, the sentiment of the industry has changed. And number two, the investments in the industry has changed. First, the investments. Massive amounts of investments in cryptocurrency are gone, wiped away. Not because people took their cash out of it, just because it collapsed. Today, we learn a little bit about FTX, which is that horrible global exchange that's collapsed. And today, we learn that they had it wrong. How much do they have in cash and how much do they owe compared to that? Today, we learn the numbers and they're not good. How bad is it? We learned today that FTX <clears throat> has 
1.24 billion in cash balances, but owes 3.1 billion. That's not good. So for nearly 50, uh, they owe almost more than double than what they actually have available. Now, of that 1.24 in cash balances, this comes on news that a half billion dollars was stolen by hackers in the last few days. $477 billion of cryptocurrency was stolen as FTX collapsed in the last few days. And now that stolen coin, those stolen coins are being sold on the black market. And that's causing the cryptocurrency in the market to crash even to drop even lower. Boy, folks, there's look, there's not enough reserves for everyone's bank account, for everyone's accounts. Then money is being stolen. Then the hackers are reselling the, the stolen coins for discounted prices, bringing the valuations even lower. It just keeps on getting worse. How about asset manager Grayscale, which is the world's largest Bitcoin fund? This was their quote when asked whether they have enough reserves on file. Quote, due to security concerns, we do not make such on-chain wallet information and confirmation data publicly available through a cryptographic proof of reserve or other advanced cryptographic accounting procedure. Procedure. Ouch. More importantly, I think the word of mouth, the consumer confidence in cryptocurrency is gone, and it may never come back. Let's look back to two years ago. Two years ago, we were coming off the, we were in the middle of the pandemic. We had that period in which the lockdown ended before another lockdown started again. And I remember specifically being in a bar and a bartender talking about how he had bought into cryptocurrency in 2019 before anyone even talked about it and talking and bragging about how he had renovated his entire condo based upon all the money he had made in cryptocurrency. Wow. At that same time, that same evening at the next table over were about four young gentlemen uh, with their with their dates, and they were all talking about Cardano. It was like a um, it was like talking about your favorite professional football team. They're so proud that they had bought on Cardano was straight up, and this was straight up and straight up, and it was just a celebratory pile on of I did it, you should do it, I did it, you should do it. It was all word of mouth. All they talked about was success stories. No one talked about negative stories. In the next table over, there was another group of people unrelated, and they were talking about cryptocurrency as well and why they thought they had all done so well in buying into something and that they were going to make big money. The word of mouth of cryptocurrency then, up to earlier this year, was all good stuff for some people. Worry? No. Celebrate? Yes. Think? No, not particularly. <laughs> and also um, celebrate an upward trend? Absolutely. It was all the notion of word of mouth, you better get in because everyone else is doing really well. You don't do well until you sell out, but they were all in and they saw it going up and the, and the, and the word of mouth was this is something to do. Now the word of mouth is that this is very scary. The word of mouth right now is that people put money into something, the money is no longer there. The money has been gone. The money is now stolen by hackers. They're not gonna get their, their investment back. Uh, the investment collapsed in value, and now they're watching the rest of the industry get a sort of a domino effect of, of uh, implosions left and right. They see Bitcoin in less than a week go from 20000 down to 15000 As I say, it's going to go to 12000 They see Ethereum going from you know 1500 to 900 This is as some people really still have been in this sort of rose-colored glasses environment and saying, oh, this is just temporary. It's going to come back. It's just, you know, temporary. No, when you lose the confidence of the consumer, you don't get that consumer back. When you don't have that consumer's confidence and you have nothing to win that consumer's confidence back, then what? You basically have to wait for another generation. If people had put large sums or sizable sums into something and it's gone, do you think they're gonna make the same mistake again? No, they're not gonna do it. And so ultimately that consumer confidence that nirvana, that celebratory, that this is wonderful, this is great, let's all do it, let's all talk about this over dinner and drinks, that's gone. It's all, oh, you're doing that thing? Oh, did you hear about the scandal with this thing and the scandal with that thing? It's not the same mentality. And ultimately, you may not win that consumer back. And where would you be next consumer? Your next consumer will be the next generation. The fall of Bitcoin right now is the lowest level in two and a half years. And two and a half years ago, it was a totally different industry. It's a totally different investor. And you may have to wait out two and a half years until you see another 
upsurge of confidence in an industry that is now eroded and potentially gone. It's that type of approach across the board. Today on, today on Afternoons LA at 3 o'clock, I talk about something that's important related to this. And the word is laziness. Laziness is laziness in investing, laziness in stimulus, laziness in anything about your money. And it all starts with taking the effort to learn about what you're doing. And those people that initially sat around a table and bought into Cardano because their friend and neighbor was talking about it over a drink and didn't really take any time to learn what a Cardano was or learn what Cardona does or learn why it was up or learn why it would go down, they were lazy. And ultimately, they bought it and they didn't watch it. Some of them, they were lazy again. And when it collapsed, they missed when it was collapsing. They were lazy. Ultimately, laziness is real trouble. It's happening in the credit markets right now with people putting massive credit card debt on the credit card. Where are they going to get those cash reserves from when the debts are due? What about the lack of people balancing their budget, as the new report says? Not good either. And what about people who are not taking the time and effort to learn about stimulus that's available right now? Massive stimulus. All you have to do is watch the video. They're fun. They're easy. Just watch them straight through and learn and apply. Where are those people? It's that type of concern where people really don't put the effort in and ultimately it hurts them in the end. It takes it doesn't take a lot of effort to learn, but once you start to earn, you get the spirit that you did it right. And I'm so excited for all these incredible viewers like Kimberly Romano and Spelly, Lynn Glenn and, and Johnny and Margaret and everyone else that have had those big success stories this week as well. We'll continue with this more throughout the day. Coming up next at 11 a.m. is... Holidays LA to Thanksgiving style. We have a brand new afternoons LA at three o'clock, a brand new evenings LA at five o'clock. Jump on, the, on to LA one for LA Light Live and jump on to LA two for Stimulus Live. From the shores of Santa Monica, California, don't forget to become a member to get all these incredible sums of checks. You deserve them and you need to get them across the board. Stay informed, stay focused. The toast is toast and the butter is buttering. And thank you for joining me on mornings.